There we are, rice girl, rice girl. Uh, I have to show off the hat, so you, you gotta put it with it. See the hat with rice girl? Uh, I don't know if it actually shows. Rice girl holding the flag, yes. We have now declared independence, what? From YouTube, because YouTube has persecuted not just me, but yes, me, because Alex Jones and all the so-called conservative uh, talk show hosts, uh, they have been oppressed systematically. So I'm modeling the fact that uh, I'm asking for donations. Uh, go paypal.me, I don't have like GoFundMe and all, all 10,000 or different things. And of course I have some pride in myself. So for the uh, donation of 25 or more, ask for this uh, new hat. It's brand new, hot off the press. <laughs> uh, pulling teeth uh, to uh, actually get them made. Uh, so I'm gonna get t-shirts as well uh, with uh, holding up the, the flag that shows our patriotism America first uh, If you didn't see that cute little girl uh, actually <laughs> it's right there that she uh, holds up the flag and uh, kick up the leg and America first uh, uh, She has this uh, finger <laughs> number one. So now I'm, I'm wearing it and it's cool uh, it has the uh, white canvas material so uh, when you're out in the sun um, uh, has the strap you know baseball game or whatever if we could still go to baseball games oh my god it's still a free country thank you thank you lord um so go to this uh, paypal.me slash cheryl ling and go to live to see another day i am back i'm so back a little bit of a frustration of course you know traveling uh, to Laguna Beach yesterday it was not an easy thing for me. Uh, I have to be honest, I just cannot be cramping the car anymore. Oh my goodness, for hours and hours, it's torturous. Uh, I thought first out, okay, so uh, I have to make a small confession. Uh, invited to go to Laguna, but uh, I also was invited to write in this so called Crossfire. I don't know if you know about Crossfire, it's like um, um, not a. Um, kid car but it looked like a kid car so it's very low to the ground uh one of its own i'm sure you've seen it. it's a two-seater it's supposed to be a, a fast a race car and blah 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 i mean i didn't think it through so i was in this little cringing thing and i forgot you know i mean just out of the goodness or sheer goodness or uh whoever the host and invited me uh the driver they're they're smaller than me and uh, once I got in there I said I cannot believe I even I thought a Corvette you can move the seat back but there's like there's no way you can move this uh, armrest nothing uh, I suppose uh, what happens is uh, like this crossfire car just like the DeLorean when I stopped making it because they were just a very specialty car I tried to take a picture of it before on the freeway but i didn't bother to take a picture of that yesterday i was thinking oh my god whoever made these cars there were midgets oh lord i couldn't move i mean nothing wrong with midgets but it's just like everything is broken and you can't get parts for it or they're super expensive so so that's why uh, my driver friend driver slash host friend said uh sorry just had to put up with this and uh uh, I don't. I don't think it was about the grace of God. He's uh, he's uh, uh, whatever you call that. Uh, all right, so you can get parts. Uh, something wrong with his uh, hose, not his hose personally. Yeah, you can have something wrong with your hose, and that's when uh, Ponzadoni and sees the shadow and goes back and hides another two months, and that's what's happening. So it's an endless winter. Anyways, it was torturesome. I would never do it again. I don't know care what. <laughs> uh, but I have to say, what. If that's not getting your sympathy to make that donation, I don't know what does. YouTube has systematically dismantled uh, my income, my ad revenues. Uh, first, there was warning, and uh, you know, oh no, first it was persecution because I look too good, I'm too hot, or whatever. Uh, I don't know. When I was doing the Patriot songs and Patriot rap, New England Patriots. If you didn't know, football season is over, but it hasn't been that long. Um, Anyway, so then uh, the Yenny wrote me and, uh, you know, these men told my ad, I actually shut down that YouTube channel. That's why I opened this one, a sure rolling. It's the same. So, the same, of course, the same people are going to find me uh, after a little bit. 
uh, so maybe like you know after a couple of clicks here and there for the ad revenues because you know like a lot of so-called youtubers that uh, they, they earn money by uh, you know having ads and uh, things like that um, but I suppose if you disagree with them, they're, su they're supposed to be, YouTube's supposed to be neutral, and then they just go, oh, we're going to take away your ad revenue and confiscate all the money. So no, I have zero. I have nothing. So I'm relying on you, 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 yes, you. Uh, I had an interested investor now to invest in these logos. Now when I'm, uh, when I say logos, the cartoon, the rice girl. So what it stands for uh, listen carefully, a rice girl. I'm, I'm not making this up. Uh, is me, of course. I am the rice girl, the embodiment of the rice girl. But you know, seemingly shallow, cute little cartoon, and you know, try to uh, just make uh, different looks, like she's holding a tennis ball and you know, kicking kung fu, uh, all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line is, uh, she is a hardworking immigrant. And uh, she knows how, okay, thanks, that truck goes by. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why you need to help me. You gotta help me get out of here! <laughs> um, and the very patriotic. When I say patriotic, I did not know that I was so patriotic until uh, I was exposed uh, now to all these uh, everyday talk shows, CNN. Uh, like I said, I was trying to keep myself out of it because I'm in California, right? During the eight years of Obama, uh, ruining the country, literally transforming, meaning destroying America. And you know, back to the Stone Age, everybody hates us. Everybody like laughed at us, dismantling the, the Navy and destroying the economy. Um, no, I mean, California is doing exactly the same thing. They're hiring with our money, everybody that left over. See, when the, the so-called, uh, this behemoth, the giant Obama dynasty uh, wiped out. Because American people said, we had enough. So I would think, I would think, I would beg the left to have the same amount of courtesy that I believe that I endured eight years of this communist Obama who's transforming us into a Muslim killing ground. That's what, exactly what he wanted to do. And that's what they call seedlings. He was putting seedling here, uh, interject into Sacramento, and people are protesting busloads. Busloads, uh, these Somalians and, uh, you know, these people. Again, yeah, I'm not apologetic about shithole country before I forget, or they're the rice girl. I know, I have to conscientiously um, make commercials for myself because I have to think about self-survival because uh, rice girl, had a very tough childhood, um, abandoned now in the rice paddy. That doesn't mean all the immigrants are bad, but if you did not come out of the shithole, if it wasn't that bad, seriously, uh, why don't you go back there? You know what I'm saying? So have some respect for the United States of America. Yeah, I know I want to see it and sing the anthem, but no, actually I want to pray the prayer. Um, because I am so grateful I survived this ride and uh, I just told myself, oh my god, it's horrible. I survived two horrible dates. <laughs> uh, well, so I don't care if you know about it. So um, somebody contacted me from face Facebook, right? I'm sure. Thank you. Bye. Boo. You. <laughs> Damn trucks. Again, it's the Liberal Democrats, right? It's their fault because, you know, they stealing our money, uh, raising the gasoline taxes, make it impossible to drive. So all these cars are on my road and beating on my road and I'm sinking down here every day. So help! Help! Donald Trump, I need your help. Really, need, they just, uh, uh, it's a, a little bit of uh, encouragement when they uh, took away some uh, intruders. But Democrats have ruined this state not just the city city is fucked up uh so you know even i was talking to the homeowner in laguna they said yeah we don't want the tent city here but tent city is already here uh, they're already down there uh i didn't go and take pictures of it uh homelessness it's in fact the uh the source that's oozing from this democrat Democratic Party, they tax you some more and pretend to give to the homeless, but in fact, they enrich your pockets and, pockets and uh, you know, so you gotta wake up, my liberal friends, oh my God. Your good heartedness are being taken advantage of. Democrats are not for little parties, they're communistic. Um, 
redistribution, but take really take the wealth for themselves. If you didn't know, you uh, check Nancy Pelosi. She's rich. Uh, she never had a business, but suddenly because she ran for Congress and suddenly she got rich. And I hate to say that someone tried to lobby me just yesterday. I knew this guy. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I said, where do you stand on this and that? He doesn't know. He's a young kid, but all he knew it was a, a uh, this uh, L.A. City County or something. that school board supervisor. He said that there were. Um, what do you call that steward <laughs> over 54 billion dollars? Oh my God, I mean, you know, it's whatever that's in your heart come out of your mouth. So if what your goal is, I'm not putting this person down, I like him, but your goal is to, you know, get hold or somehow be the fox in the hen house, so to speak. Maybe <clears throat> maybe I'm wrong, I hope I am. Then, you, you know, you shouldn't be there. Uh, <clears throat> but sometimes, you know, I just don't want to be rude to them. Uh, try to correct them. I mean, I just blurred out to this uh, this guy I know that came and passed a, a flyer said I should help him to uh, be elected the uh, supervisor or the, the uh, county or whatever. Uh, anyway, so I said, what, what is your agenda? What is your goal? How, how are you going to achieve it? Oh, my goal is I want to get rid of this homeless problem. Everybody does. Democrats are there. They're the ones that actually they're putting more so-called the fake fake efforts to enrich themselves by um you know making these uh victims as excuses that's their uh, their scheme if you didn't know it's always the school it's always the kids anyways uh go back to all right before i'm exasperated i just want to uh tell you what happened so bad dates uh -huh. and lord forgive me uh all right I, i'm not saying i have to be careful be careful because sometimes people say oh I know you from so and so and they actually don't or I forgot or maybe it was like 12 years ago so uh, 12 years ago I met someone supposedly supposedly on MySpace and nobody knows MySpace and anyway so reach out to me on Facebook and uh, the person uh, somehow moved from Los Angeles to San Francisco that should that should be a tip-off right San Francisco is a big gay city I'm not saying automatically this person is gay but oh my god uh, talking on the phone and uh, you know seem all cool uh, oh I'm I'm gonna be down here in Los Angeles in Pasadena blah 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 so we're gonna go out to dinner and you know it sounds it all good and everything uh, I, I'm not saying this is bad but I really believe that you have to use some wisdom you know i have to use some wisdom if i haven't seen somebody for 12 years and uh uh suddenly they show up uh you know not not that uh, uh i'm saying san francisco is really ooh, um not just totally liberal it's a liberal city why would you want to live there that was that should be a legitimate question but um i don't know i don't have the answer and I'm not trying to condemn the person, but uh, truthfully, I think that they actually don't like women. So why would? So what's the psychology behind it? If you don't like women, but you ask them out, so you kind of, you know, maybe uh, I just feel like I was treated bad, right? Because I'm just saying the basic courtesy is that nobody opens the door anymore. I mean, what is this? Is this so PC now? It's wrong to open door to be uh, open doors, car doors. I'm talking about. I mean, I don't have to be waited on hand and foot. But oh my God, the basic, very basic, uh, old school, little uh, shivery. Not even shivery. Just the courtesy, like you know, people just walk in front of you. Like, I I don't get it. You know, I. Uh, never been a mother anyways i was abandoned as a child so i i don't know how it is like you know when some people say that some people they got mothered so much that's what drove them to become gay and afraid of mothers or whatever or the motherly image or whatever but people are just all right rude and uh, uh so if you are looking you're uh, right now i don't want to call you all by name i, I don't want to scream and yell and everything uh, but that's rude to sit in front of my driveway for a uh, half an hour, 45 minutes debating where we're going to go. I mean, I understand if there's a budget constraint, 
um, but I suggest this several places, and uh, none of them uh, was uh, was a, a suitable thing. I guess if you're a man, uh, you're taking somebody out, maybe you want to just, uh, you know, be a little cordial to who you're inviting because, you know, maybe you want to, like, you know, try to make out with them down the road. I really don't know. What's the purpose? What is the purpose of this date? Uh, so spend an hour trying to figure out, oh, I can do mix, or I can do this, or I can do that. Well, I am very, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, very conscientious what I put in nowadays like you know for example I don't want to put in on MSG so Chinese food is out of it ah only baking duck baking duck yeah Punkster to Tony Phil uh, by the way if that's his last name Phil then Punkster to Tony that would be the first first name I think I would call my kids if I ever had one called Punkster to Tony Bobby Rice Girl oh so oh anyways it was so bad uh, finally, I go, you know what? I just want to get out of my driveway. Uh, in fact, uh, because there's no water or whatever, you know, have a little courtesy. I'm, I'm saying to guys, have a little courtesy if you want to get somewhere with a date. If you don't want to get anywhere, then you should not even take them out because they feel insulted. Uh -huh. uh, so after an hour, I said, well, let's just go on Ventura Boulevard, just drive around and see what hap what's happening. Okay, that's a possibility, but you have to valet park. You know, I'm trying to be uh, cordial in that sense. Uh, maybe the guy doesn't care to pay $5, $4 for valet. But, you know, I'm trying to think of a place. As I said, well, perhaps this Laurel Promenade, you don't have to deal with the fucking uh, trucks or whatever, right? Uh, so I'm just giving you a little tip there. Uh, if you're not gay... This is not a way to land a pussy, so to speak. <laughs> so the, then I said, well, I suggest that uh, I've never been to this Girasol because I drove by a Moore Park and I know you can park there and uh, so forth. So, okay, let's go down there. And then this has never happened to me. Uh, after we parked two blocks, we, uh, you know, because again, this is Studio City, they all valet. I go, oh shit. I told you another place that didn't valet, but he didn't want to go because maybe it's pricey. I don't know. I mean, I can understand that. But but if you really came down here all this way, you said that I really want to see you and blah, blah, blah. So go out of your ways a little bit. Don't, you know, come say, I haven't seen you, which I don't remember. I met you 12 years ago. And then all of a sudden you got these problems. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, it's not just, it's not like we're going to get married or whatever. It just, uh, a date should not be a, uh, a burden, become a burden. It was a burden because as soon as I sat down, finally a park, park two blocks away. Um, and I have to get out of my car myself. Uh, the door is heavy. I don't know what they got these shitty cars. Nowadays, the cars is all low to the ground and you can't like freaking you gotta, like kick it with your leg to open it because the guy went over the fucking car door. Oh, this is a bad day. That's all. Sat down. The lady handed us some water and then I said, well, can I have uh, tea or, you know, we're looking at the menu. I guess even if it's not Ventura Boulevard, maybe some of the items or a little high price. When I say high price, it's like 29 bucks or, or well, actually it was really high price. I wanted lamb, but it was like 40 bucks for lamb. I mean, I'm not, you know, again, I'm not a gold digger and I don't really care if you spend 40, 50 dollars. It doesn't go to me. The money goes to them. I mean, but I do just want to have an enjoyable time, a nice a uh, little romantic dinner or or whatever i don't you know i don't run up a beer tap i mean i'm pretty polite i have a tea or or either that or i have some pellegrino so it's one or the other you know what i'm saying i mean i know some people some ladies they drove the man to the ground by ordering foods for like you know uh, to go and take out i mean there was nothing like that but the guy just says let's go he's like hysterical you are hysterical peter if I call y'all by name, I'm just saying, never, never take somebody out, and you'll never get laid. Oh my God! End up with some greasy spoon. Spent half a night. The guy couldn't make up his fucking mind. So that's why you waited 12 years to fucking impress me. I am not impressed. Oh Lord. <laughs>
I guess I'm just not a fake person. So a bad day, I prefer no date because uh, you know what? Uh, you're just gonna irritate the shit out of me and that's not, it's not good for my health. And I'm letting it out. Not that, you know, it's gonna do me any better because it's done. It's done. But I'm letting it out uh, so that I want you, uh, I just want you to know. If you're ever, ever like saying, I'm going out of your ways, I'm coming back and even try to call them a month before, two months before, I'm going to be in Los Angeles, I really want to look you up, then you better save up a little bit of money and make sure that you got these uh, just little things that I believe that, oh, I know I don't want to get higher, higher pitched. Uh, just by instinct. You don't even have to be taught. By instinct, we should just know. Uh, you don't have to kiss ass. You just open a door. Be nice. Be a gentleman. Uh, all right? It, it, you know, uh, like if the, the lady has to walk down the curb. Not that I totally need help for you to pick me up and show some, some kind of chivalry. Yeah, if it comes to that, if we hit it off. But if we're not hitting it off from the get-go, uh, there is no way to go down the other road. Oh, Lord, I need a good day. Somebody rescue me. I need to have a good day. Sometimes it's just hard. Oh, God. <laughs> and then another disaster. Well, I'm just talking about what happened because you haven't seen me for the past few days. I guess I was just fuming. Another disaster happened. All right. Feel sorry for me. I mean, truly, you know, I'm just going to play the fucking victim and buy this hat. <laughs> just buy it. Uh, when I say buy it, just make a donation. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to survive because YouTube has dismantled uh, any ad revenue. I haven't see, seen uh, any money. So now it's great. They just want to flex their muscles. Oh, we just want you to know that we're taking away all ads. Uh, before they at least they're faking it. Oh, some videos we're gonna, yeah, have little ads and clicks and whatever. But I never see them a dollar. So it's all a freaking illusion. They're stealing. YouTube is stealing my money. The goddamn liberal people. All right, so at least I get it out of the way. Well, you know how it is that if we bottle it in, it's gonna kill us. So it's better to let it out. Uh, I don't know if you wanna hear about the other day. Oh, uh, all right, so uh, two days later, I said I'd give it a try. Well, cause you know it's a long holiday, right? You know, you know. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, Sounds good, Laguna Beach. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just uh, I shouldn't be telling you all this much.